On this episode of Bus Talk, we're going to discuss promoting positive student behavior. Hi, this is Paul at Bus Talk. Here at Bus Talk, we talk about everything having to do with school bus driving, focusing on getting kids to and from school safely to promote learning. In today's episode, we are going to talk about how to promote positive student behavior on the bus. In a previous episode on five tips for new bus drivers, I discussed the philosophy of promoting relationships through respect. There's a big part of bus drive, school bus driving that has to do with managing the students on board. So I start off with my first tip. Focus on themes of behavior rather than rules. Now, this is the brochure that's used at my school district. It's a three-fold brochure, and it has all the bus rules listed on it, and the parents have to sign for this when they sign up their children for, uh, uh, for the riding on the bus route. The problem is this is just a lot of rules, and I focus on three themes. Be kind, be respectful, and be safe. Under be kind, what I tell the kids is that means uh, we say please and thank you, uh, and we use uh, nice words with each other, and there is no bullying allowed on the bus. Under being respectful, the number one item for being respectful is no eating on the bus. Be respectful to me, your bus driver, and don't eat on the bus because I don't want to have to clean up your mess. And finally, be safe. The number one big be safe rule is wear your seat belts when you're on the bus. In addition, I tell the kids, the bus is equipped with video cameras and my boss can see everything. Okay, the number two tip is everybody has a bad day. You're gonna have a bad day, hair day. And if you have a bad hair day and you get busted and break a rule, well, say you're sorry and you'll never do it again. I tell the children, I'm gonna make mistakes, please forgive me. If you make a mistake, I'll forgive you. Number three on the tip for promoting positive student behavior is three strikes and you're out. I will give verbal warnings to the children and if they get three verbal warnings, then they get a written citation. The written citation goes home and has to be signed with their parents, by their parents, and then returned in order for them to continue to riding on the bus. It's really the only formal way that the bus driver has to communicate with the parents about their child's behavior. Now, there are exceptions. I won't give uh, verbal warnings on some behavior. Eating on the bus, number one. Throwing stuff in or out of the bus. Books, water bottles, anything, no throwing stuff. Arms, head, legs, any body part out the window, automatic citation, or fighting or bullying. Number four, my number four tip is document, document, document. Uh, see my earlier video on four tips for new drivers where I talk about um, uh, keeping a diary well, this becomes really important in terms of keeping track of your verbal warnings is to write them down. And that way, when you fill out uh, the paperwork for the written citation, it, you can be specific about dates and actions uh, that the child uh, did. And so there's just really no questions when the citation goes to their, to their parents. Number five, reward good behavior. Uh, here at the district that I work at, we use a thing called Positive Behavior Intervention System. And what those are is a system of these chits or vouchers that the children can then take to their school store and they can turn these vouchers for good behavior uh, into um, toys. Uh, sometimes they get popsicles or other you know, gadgets and things that the kids, kids love and value. And we call these here bus bucks, uh, but it's a way of re rewarding the students for positive behavior. 
the other thing that I do is that I'll give treats to the kids. I'll buy individually packaged snacks uh, and I will give out individually pass, uh, packaged snacks to the kids uh, before every major holiday or break. So for example, before uh, at Veterans Day, the kids will get a treat. Before Christmas break, they'll get a treat. And again, um, uh, at all the other major holidays, especially at spring break, I'll give uh, treats, things like um, uh, rice crisp, uh, individually packaged Rice Krispie treats, uh, fruit gummies sometimes. Sometimes I'll give uh, Pringles potato chips uh, in their little individual packets. It's just a way of me expressing how much I appreciate the kids and their good behavior. Okay, so that wraps up this episode of Bus Talk. Remember, safety is essential. <laughs>